What is up guys, today I'm going to talk about if you should play Diablo 3 in 2021. Now Diablo 3 came out around 8 years ago, so the game is still very very old, but however, it is a very good game. So if you have never heard of Diablo 3, basically the Diablo series is a top down hack and slash killer game where you just basically go around and destroy stuff and mass hordes of enemies, it is really really satisfying. You can play as 6 classes, the Crusader, the Barbarian, the Witch Doctor, the Monk, the demon hunter and the mage there's also to the necromancer but that is a $15 DLC which is kind of a little on the expensive side for a character but the necromancer is all right um, you know he's a kind of a glass cannon in a way he needs a lot of protection but he's pretty good as for the gameplay I know I mentioned before that this game was in hack and slash you just basically kill stuff however it can get kind of repetitive after a while I play this game you know a couple of hours around three two-ish hours and then I kind of get bored of the game because it gets kind of repetitive. Now you have a lot of end game and different things to do like dungeons, seasonal events, all that different stuff where you can get exclusive rewards, but it's just not enough because it's just the gameplay itself that, you know, just killing enemies again and again and again gets very boring. Now this mostly kicks in however, like when you get your build and you're all done with your character because during that building process, you kind of have to get, you know, grind for the armor, swords, rings, and whatnot. There's tons of things to grind for, for your build, for your character. But after you get all that stuff, it kind of just gets dull from there. The story is kind of pointless in a way, I would say, because it's really, I found it not that important. It was just very, you know, basic, whatever story. It's mostly just about the gameplay itself. Think of the story like a tutorial of how to play the game, really, because that's what it is. Um, and the community agrees on that as well. It's just not me that's saying it. I feel like the story is just meant more for the lore and to teach you how to play the game rather than just giving you an in-depth story. Uh, but it's basically just about the end game, as I said before, the seasonal events and the dungeons and the rifts and all that stuff. That's basically what you're playing the game for. Now, is there still people playing this game, however? I mean, this game's eight years old. Surely it shouldn't really have a big player base. And yeah, you're right, the player base is definitely smaller than it was back in eight years ago, but there is still decent amounts of players. Depending on what game mode or what difficulty you're playing on, you will find sometimes a full squad of people. Although there is a lot of people also that mod the game because it's, you know, really old, they kind of just do it for fun, but there's a lot of people that mod the game. Like, I mean, a lot of people that you're going to come across on the higher difficulties, you're just going to see them speed through the map at like 50 miles per hour, killing everything in sight. Those people are most likely modders, but they're not going to ruin the experience. It's actually going to help you, if anything, but it's kind of going to uh, lower the difficulty, I would say. But in the seasonal um, difficulties, however, there isn't really any modders because they actually kind of want to play the game, which is kind of surprising, but the game is still enjoyable. Now, the customization in this game is not too great. You can't really customize any of the classes. However, you do have a transmog system in the game, so you can kind of customize how your armor looks and stuff, but none of the faces you cannot customize or the looks or anything of the character themselves. But the transmog system basically makes up for it because you can wear a helmet or whatever through your whole playthrough, basically. So, I will definitely suggest playing this game if you haven't or you're looking for a game to play. Definitely give this game a try. It's pretty cheap. You can go to GameStop and get it for like $20. I know on the PlayStation Store, I don't know about the Xbox Store, but the PlayStation Store costs like $60 because it's the, you know, enhanced edition that includes all the DLCs. You really only need Reaper Souls, which it comes with already, so you're good to go. But, yeah, I definitely suggest playing this game. But that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment. Hit that bell notification and I'll catch you guys later.